The London premiere of the third season of the Bridgerton series was live at the Odeon Locks in Leicester Square, London. And as the excitement brews for the second part of the season and all of that shenanigan that follows, we surely expected our favorite cast members and faves to show up looking nothing short of immaculate. Now, while some delivered us good fashions, others just failed to impress us. So here are the top 10 best and worst dress at the London premiere of the third season of Bridgeting 2024. Take a look. <laughs> First up on our worst dress list, we have the beautiful woman of the hour, Nicola Coughlin, who has been amazing all season long. And for the London premiere of the third season of the Bridgerton series, she had on this pale pink sequin of the shoulder long gown by Rodarte from their Autumn Winter 2024 collection. And she was styled by the super amazing Amy Crossdale. And I really did want to like this look so bad because I mean, she is the main character of the series and she has ultimately just been killing the fashion throughout the entirety of this press tour however there was just like certain elements of this look that just did not do it for me now first of all i really just did not love this color up against her skin tone i just personally felt like it just washed her out in such an unflattering way and that wasn't really the vibe for me more so just the structure of the dress was really not gaggy to me and just the styling of it all just threw everything off for me i mean those gloves were definitely on necessary and i just felt like it just made the look feel heavy and clunky also i just wasn't really loving her hair with this look i mean what's the point of doing an off the shoulder moment if you're not going to really showcase your amazing and beautiful collarbone this to me just felt very squashed up and i really just lose her neck in the process and i really just wasn't loving that finally i just believe that nicola can do better and we've definitely seen her do better in other premieres so this look was just a bit of a letdown for me so yeah this look by nicola just did not do it for me when it came to the fashion so it's gonna be a chop for me up next on our list we have the super dreamy look new thing and for the london premiere of the third season of the bridget team series he had on this deep gray blazer set by emporio Armani, and he was styled by the incredible holly white and yeah i really just don't know what's going on with the main characters today but this was just another look that i just really did not love on the red carpet now while i can really appreciate the details on this look i mean with that little floral motif detailing that we see on the shoulders and the sleeves and just the details that we see at the top part of this look the first thing i actually really do notice about this look is just the weird fitting of it all now i can even just manage the blazer top but those pants they were just way too big on him i mean this was supposed to be a red carpet glam moment but why does this look just low-key give me a very loungy wear type comfortable look yeah i really just don't know about this look and the weird fittings so it's definitely going to be a chop for me up next we have the gorgeous gorgeous simone ashley and for the london premiere of the third season of the bridgerton series she had on this pale pink flowy long dress by delcor from their autumn winter 2024 collection and she was styled by the amazing rebecca corbin murray and i really have to ask what is really going on on the carpet today because it has just been misses upon misses and i just can't seem to wrap my head around it now this look in itself is just an immediate flop for me just in terms of like construction and over Overall execution now i just wasn't in love with the overall execution of this look this in itself was giving me very tata torn rags and i just don't think that that is what she was ultimately going for now this color up against her skin tone just really seems odd and apart from her face cut that is eating down for days the rest of this look is just really a no-no for me so yeah this look by simone really failed to hit the fashion mark for me so it's gonna be a chop for me next up we have the stunning harriet Keynes, and for the london premiere of the third season of the bridgerton series she had on this off-white freely long dress by dior and she was styled by the super amazing nathan henry and just like i said before the tattered fashion of it all is definitely real and this was really just not doing it for me on the red carpet now i don't know what this look was supposed to be or the ultimate inspiration behind it but the big question is 
is this visually appealing to me i really don't think so now i'm just really not loving this tattered netty material that was used in the construction of this dress or that frilly detail that we see at the front of the dress this look in itself is just giving me very haunted house it's giving me very horror movie character and that in itself is just a no-no for me so yeah this look by harriet is gonna be a chop for me finally on our worst dress list we have the beautiful claudia jesse and for the london premiere of the third season of the bridgerton series she had on this black maxi dress and this look was just an immediate no for me i mean this dress in itself just looks like an old maiden dress and it just aged her accordingly and i don't think she purposefully wanted to look older than her age also there was just really something about this dress that was just giving me very stage play costume and it almost looked like this even wasn't a custom look because the fit was just a blithering mess and it did absolutely nothing for her proportions this fabric in itself just looked crinkly and rumpled and the hair was just a hot booboo -boo mess so yeah this look by claudia was just a bit fact chop for me first up on our best dress list and starting out strong we have the super iconic Shonda Rhimes and for the London premiere of the third season of the Bridgerton series she had on this black lacy midi dress and a tool over jacket by Oscar de la Renta and she was styled by the super talented Dana Asha and show me a diva more elegant and regal I'll wait I mean it was only right that she was giving the main character energy tonight and eating the girls up in this look and I can really appreciate that I mean I just love the overall construction of this look in itself there was just something really simple about this look but at the same time it still looked very extravagant and just the juxtaposition of those two concepts is just something that was very beautiful to see in this look now I just also really love the mixing and matching of different fabric textures I mean with that lacy material and the tool that in itself just really elevated this look and made it much more visually appealing to look at now for styling she has definitely taken the silver route with the bags and the shoes and the accessories and i think they just really worked so beautifully with this look so yeah shonda with this look was definitely mourning the death of bad fashion so it's gonna be a hot for me up next on our list we have the stunningly gorgeous hannah dodd and for the london premiere of the third season of the bridgerton series she had on this silver sequin of the shoulder short dress by versace from their fall winter 2024 collection and she was styled by the amazing felicity k and she definitely understood the assignment with this look for sure now i just really love how this look in itself is not doing too much yet it still has that je ne about it that just screams super glamorous to me now i just really love how this off the shoulder moment just further goes down and nips in at her waist giving her that hourglass figure i also really love these folding details that we see at the middle of the dress i think that was definitely like a play on texture and it was very well executed now we've definitely seen a longer version of this look on margot robbie at the oscars and while i thought that version in itself was a fabulous one this right here was still very much a major slate to me more so i just really love how there's a little bit of a pushback on her hair just to open up her neckline and i just love the styling of this look with those shoes so yeah this look by hannah definitely gave us glam so it's gonna be a hot for me up next we have the legendary at joa ando and for the london premiere of the third season of the bridgerton series she had on this black ruffled gown by paul costello from their fall winter 2024 collection and she was styled by the incredible anna hugh chamberlain and this was definitely the first time that i really enjoyed her look for a bridgerton premiere and i just think that this look just did exactly what needed to be done on the red carpet and i can appreciate that now i just really love this black dress on her i mean it fits right and i just really love the design details that we see on the dress i mean from that ruffle that we see on the bodice area down to that arty texture that we see at the bottom of the dress you can just tell that this look in itself was telling a story but not an obscure one at that i love the styling of this look with the black hat i think that in on itself just really elevated the look for me for sure and i just really think that her jewelries were really pretty so yeah this look by ajua is definitely going to be a hot for me up next on our list we have the queen of them all Golda Rushwell and for the London premiere of the third season of the Bridgerton series 
She had on this navy blue floral capy long dress by Mary Kachanzu from their Resorts 2024 collection and she was styled by the incredible Jason Rembert and she was serving the grandest dame diva of them all and I mean what's not to love about that i love this color on her and i just really love this floral details that we see at the top part of the dress this dress in itself just felt very effortless and this big wavy curly type hair on her was just exactly the dramatics that i need to really finish off this look beautifully so yeah this look by goda really showed us why she is queen so it's gonna be a hot for me Finally, on our best dress list, we have the Nigerian fashion icon Denola Gray. And for the London premiere of the third season of the Bridgerton series, he had on this wine cropped jacket with floral embellishments, matching jacket pants, and a white pleated shirt by Atafo. And he definitely stole the show in this look for sure. I mean, he looks really clean and pristine in this look. And I just really love how he has just managed to put this look together. I love this jacket with the floral motif and just the fit of the entire look was really very impeccable i also really love this white inner shirt that he has opted for that in itself just gave me very bridgerton without being costumey in a weird way and i can really appreciate that i love those heeled boots and i just really love the gold and black accent jewelries take note guys this is how you do male fashion so yeah this look by denola gray is definitely going to be a hot for me all right guys we have come to the ending of today's video in today's video i share with you guys my top 10 best on watch dress at the london premiere of the third season of the bridgerton series if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up it helps me a lot and yeah i would definitely see you guys in the next one but for now it is bye guys Au revoir.